Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine. If you are planning to participate in psychology entrance exams, then you cannot miss today's topic. One question you can find in entrances related to today's topic. Before moving, I would like to mention one Mool Mantra of success, maintaining consistency. Because I know you are in love with psychology like me, that's why you are here. So you already have one major attribute that is keenness, keenness in psychology. Just maintain consistency. You will definitely get what you want. In this video, we are going to talk about biofeedback and how we use them as therapy. So let's begin. First of all, we have to understand what is biofeedback. We control our movements when we walk, grab something, or when we take any action. Similarly, our neurological system controls other body processes such as heart rate, skin temperature, respiration, sugar level. And these functions are automatic and occur in response to our environment. Such as, when we see snake, we feel fear. When we see our loved one, we feel excited. In all these kind of situations, body do certain changes internally. Means in sadness, in anxiety, or in other negative feelings, emotions, and stress, automatic and uncontrollable changes occur in our body. So biofeedback is a method that can assist us in gaining more control over these generally uncontrollable activities. So when we use biofeedback to provide training, we call them biofeedback therapy. This theory work on one principle. We call them thinking over matter. Thinking over matter means by being aware of how our body reacts to a stressor and other stimuli, we can control and modify bodily reactions against a stressor. That's why we call them thinking over matter. Because if we are aware why those changes occur, so we can control them. Right? We can say we can control and modify them, modify bodily reactions. We all know chronic stress can have a severe impact on our body, causing elevated blood pressure, increased body temperature, and disturbance right in brain functions. Biofeedback help us to control body processes such as your heart rate and breathing by creating a more effective mental and physical responses to stress. Now we will try to understand how it is working. In biofeedback therapy, we attach sensors to client's body to assess essential bodily functions. Basically, we can say it's designed to help our clients to understand more about how our body functions. Electrical sensors that are connected to the bodies of client detect and record multiple indicators of stress like heart rate, muscle tension, and temperature. And projecting that particular data on computer monitors, we can say. Right? So that reading showing how our client's body react against certain stimuli. So they can observe them on computer monitors. And with the help of biofeedback therapist, client can learn to control their heart rate through a variety of breathing and relaxation techniques that we are using in you know, uh, uh, behavioral therapy as well. And when our client showing any positive development using this method that is visible on the screen right now, this inspires our client for happier responses and calm state of mind. And how quickly our client learn to manage their physical responses in one aspect that can affect the total number of sessions required to treat an issues. So we can say how quickly client responding on this particular therapy that will decide how many sessions our clients required. 
सिंगल बायो फीडबैक थेरेपी सेशन यूजली टेक्स थर्टी टू सिक्सटी मिनट्स and there are different types of biofeedback machines that we are using to monitor different bodily functions like first is electromyogram in short emg we are using emg to monitor tension in muscles second electroencephalography in short we call them eeg we use them to understand brain waves third electrocardiogram in short ecg we use ecg to understand heart functions so one thing i would like to mention here biofeedback can help in many conditions like depression panic ptsd and biofeedback has been found to be safe for various issues and there are no known harmful impact so i hope this short video on biofeedback will help you to answer at least one question in psychology entrance examinations right so best wishes to all of you for your upcoming psychology entrances right bye take care